Hey guys, uh, just want to let you guys know uh, I'm working on a new project for all my kayak camping fishing adventures. I uh, recently bought a Legend 7x16 Slant Vino's aluminum trailer. It was a one heck of a journey. I actually drove 12 hours to uh, head up to St. John's, Michigan, uh, where the uh, manufacturer, the plant, and the dealers are. Uh, where I'm at, North Carolina, we just have no dealers for all aluminum uh, manufacturers. Did a little research, uh, Aluma Legend um, offered what I liked as far as the quality, um, followed by, I think, Neo and ATC. Um, went through a lot of reviews, wasn't too impressed. Uh, but uh, Legend uh, really piqued my interest, so watched a lot of reviews, uh, videos, made some phone calls, and um, yeah, decided on the Legend. So, 7x16 slant vinos, like I said, all aluminum, uh, triple tongue, uh, literally goes all the way back to the axles. Uh, tandem axle, 3,500 pound. Uh, aluminum rims there screwless exterior um, even the little door handles here are aluminum i went with the barn door style instead of a drop down just for the fact that a lot of the campsites they're, they're small um, you back it in you drop the ramp it may or may not go down before hitting something so uh, barn door gave me a little better option as far as space on the camping uh camping areas yeah i'm not hauling you know atvs or anything like that so i really didn't need a ramp anyway so uh inside oh real quick the handle here friggin lights up at night when it's hooked up it's pretty cool so nothing special um let me see if i can get some light on in here uh, well maybe not Ugh. So, um, engineered wood, the welds, really good quality. Uh, they, they really took the time with this. Even the wiring is really well secured. Everything, it looked like it's, it's uh, shrink, shrink butted. Um, LED light, even in the back where they have uh, holes, they actually put the grommets to protect all the wires. So uh, really, really impressed. Um, so the plans are, I'm gonna turn this into kind of an open concept. Plan is, step one obviously, is I'm gonna strip it down. I had to insulate it. Um, I'm not good with the uh, AC electricity. So uh, I actually have a electrician coming in to do some of the wiring. It's gonna be a 30 amp shore power supply for the, that they have at the campsites. But basically it's gonna have a breaker box, about six outlets in here, including a, a USB charging station. And <clears throat> that guy will do that. And then I will finish it out, put everything back together. Um, so the actual diamond plate aluminum here, it's probably going to be a butt, man. They really, they use staples and I mean, they, it was an overkill with the amount of staples they put in. But uh, I have a feeling that I'm going to end up using a heavy duty flathead screwdriver and a little mini crowbar and probably end up damaging the, uh, the flashing here. So, uh, plus I, I don't want to have that in here when I'm done with it anyway. I just want it to have a nice stained wood looking uh i'll probably replace the sides here um haven't really decided everything's based off my uh bank account and how much overtime i want to pull but uh you know for the time being i could leave the walls up um these are uh tap in the the screws and stuff which shouldn't be a problem taken out i know some of the lower end trailer companies use nails uh, that look like screws, but uh, no, I asked and actually pulled one out. They are screws, so it's not going to be a problem. Um, breakaway battery thing there. Um, so just kind of a basic layout that I have planned. So when you come in through the door, basically this is going to be 
a uh, kitchenette area, flat top, little storage here. It's gonna have um, microwave, coffee pot maker, uh, probably like a little uh, toaster oven or something like that. Electric uh, cooktop, uh, probably looking, I'm looking at the new waves. Uh, underneath here is gonna be a mini fridge, um, more storage, and then I want to extend the kitchen to right about here and I'm gonna have a false wall put in halfway right here. So on the back side will be a flat screen TV, some more shelving. On this side is gonna be um, kind of like a trundle bed, I believe is what I'm gonna go with. I was thinking either a trundle bed or a uh, Murphy style drop down bed. Still tinkering with the idea, but I do like the idea of a trundle bed. Really uh, don't want anything permanently mounted in here as far as uh, with the exception of the kitchen area. Yeah, I still want to be able to use this for hauling stuff if I want to go down that route later on. Um, back in, I was just thinking of maybe a little two seat, uh, love seat recliner type thing. And then on the passenger side, <clears throat> want to have more shelving, lots of storage. Um, yeah, so that's my design playing in my head right now. Things are always changing, but uh, Step one, of course, is just stripping, insulating, getting wired, uh, kind of framing for the kitchen. Kitchen area, the way I have it planned in my head and in diagrams is pretty much set. Uh, so we'll start with that and move from there. Um, again, everything's LED, a little dirty. It was a heck of a trip. I think it was about 15 hours coming back from Michigan. Uh, so the RV style lock, um, deadbolt, latch. Uh, doesn't have a crossbar or anything, so I can't get locked in. Um, and then for the back side, um, this is just your regular uh, lock bar. Um, all the hardware back here is stainless steel, which is really nice. Uh, I really don't have to worry about this thing rusting out. Uh, I know people have their own budget. You know, you can either get the steel, uh, which is definitely the uh, cheaper versus the all aluminum. Um, you just have to ask yourself, you know, in the long run, what do you plan to do with it? What type of camping? I do a lot of salt water, coastal type camping. I'm not really in a state that uses a lot of heavy salt on the roads, um, again, here in North Carolina, but I do go to the coast, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, a week or two at a time, staying right on the, uh, on the coast. Um, so long term, Aluminum was the way I wanted it to go. It was just had to narrow it down to a couple companies Price budget. What am I going to get for my money the quality of the build? Honestly guys if you guys are thinking about an aluminum trailer um, look, look into legend uh, legend or a uh, aluma um, It's not too much more expensive than a neo trailer or a ATC they're real comparable um but really, uh, it's, uh, it's really something. I, I, I think I'm going to be very, very happy with this. So this is uh, what I have. And stay tuned for further updates. And as my project build comes along, I will get those posted. You guys have a good one. Thanks.